Have you got an expensive mobile phone that you mount to your bike? Do you want to protect that mobile phone? Mobile phones are getting dearer and dearer. Don't risk your phone. Okay, welcome guys. Here we are, we're in the garage of Kimmy Russ Adventures. And we've got a new product for you here today. Well, it's been out for a little while, but uh, I thought I would just show you what it is. Now, everybody loves going on road trips. Some people take their mobile phones with them, albeit very expensive mobile phones with them, and they mount them on their bikes. We have a quad lock mount on our bike. Others. Well, they run different mounts. Now, these phones are getting dearer and dearer and dearer. But the thing is with them, the cameras are so good in a lot of them now. We have actually done away with carrying an actual camera with us because of room on a bike, especially when you're doing long trips, touring and that. So we've done away with that and we've just gone to taking photos with a mobile phone. Mobile phones take very good pictures, especially the dear ones. So we figure why carry a camera with us. Now, my mobile phone, it's not a real dear one. Or when I say not real dear, it's worth about $500. It's an A70, a Samsung A71. It has a very good camera on it. Look at these pictures that it takes. Absolutely beautiful. I know they're not as good as what a proper camera is, but look, they do the job for us. So, why risk it? Now, when you've got a mobile phone mounted to your bike, there is a hell of a lot of vibration going through it. And that does wreck the uh, camera in your phone. Well, it can do, especially over a period of time. Especially, probably for, more so, for a lot of venture riders. Uh, who are really on rough ground all the time. Now, anyone that's running the quad lock, there's a new gadget out for that, and we're going to put it on. It is the motorcycle vibration dampener. It is a little thing that goes here to soften the blow for your phone to, to take out all that, all that um, bounce that's going through the phone. So we're going to install it on the bike and have a look at it. So we'll just open it up here. Now, these have been out for a little while now, um, and they're about, I think they're about 20 odd dollars each. I've brought one for my bike and for Kim's bike. Um, that's it right there. Let me just see if you can see that. That's the package there. It comes with an Allen key and instructions. A fairly easy fit out. Now, we got these for $17 each on special, a bit of a markdown. So, all you've got to do is uh, take off your mount where your phone not, well not your whole mount just the tongue bit so we'll just rip that off just, I'll just have a look see where I've got it lined up for when I put it back on put that down now the dampener's already got a screw in it so all you do put your Allen key in it and screw it on so i'll just make sure that's around the right way for me that it's not knocking on anything i'll do her up tight oh i can't find it there you go so that's it there attaches to the bike so it makes it poke out just a little bit more then all you do is put your little mount thing back on and just line it up to where you did have it. Now I might have to adjust this on the handlebars because like I said, uh, it does block it out more from the handlebars. 
as you can see there's got a bit of spring there to it now tighten that up and we'll put our mobile phone on it so that is it right there as you can see it might jump around a little bit there but what they say is that's on a dampening system there like little shock absorbers that is going to save your phone well your camera in your phone which are very very technical these days um, because they are so good in a lot of them so um, we'll soon see won't we hey I think the $17 each it cost me for them I think that's um, worth having a go at rather than buying a brand new phone if I stuff it up so anyway guys this is just a quickie today just to show you that Catch you on the road somewhere else. And don't forget to watch Kimmy Russ Adventures on Tour, currently airing on YouTube. Okay, guys. Bye.